here's some crazy research for you. So a third of men, 33%, a little over a third of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. The same study said that by the year 2030, that 45% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single. So I've got a question for the men because I see it all the time in my comments. Most of my comments are filled with guys saying we're done. We don't, we're not looking, we like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Tell me why you don't want to have a partner in life. Tell me why it's more worth it to be single than to have a partner. Even if you weren't to remarry, just to have a partner. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. Well, we can answer your question without men having to tell you. We'll just let the women tell you why men are dropping out of dating in record numbers. Here's number one. An average woman thinking she should get above average treatment from an above average man. But I'm a 30 year old single woman. The dating scene was already very bleak. Now I've seen Travis Kelsey, six foot five NFL player Travis Kelsey, publicly pursue Taylor Swift. I've seen him treat her like an actual princess, sliding her security out of the way so he can open her car door, holding her hand everywhere they go. I've seen this man get visible heart eyes every time he says her name. He blushes anytime someone mentions her. So I've watched all this unfold and now I'm just supposed to go date these dusty ass hinge men? <laughs> Thanks, but I don't want it. So Travis is famous in the football world and Taylor Swift is famous in the music industry. Each one of them can Google the other and get a clue of who they are. Who the hell are you? and the nerve to call average men who won't treat you the way you think you should be treated, Dusty's, tells us what we need to know about your personality. Here's number two. A woman who thinks she should be compensated just because she was born female. Unpopular opinion, but I literally think that women should be paid to exist. I know y'all are probably gonna be like, what? But no, follow me on this, follow me on this. So one, like our bodies literally create life, y'all. Like that within itself, like it beats any freaking invention that a man can come up with, like any tech company, like no, no tech company can come up with a baby in my belly. So one, that's why we should get paid. Um, and then even women who like are, have already had children, they should still get paid because guess what? Like the life of a mother. Like, that's a whole job within itself. I literally think that we should receive monthly incomes for being women. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. Before I respond to this wonderful young lady, I'd like to give a special thanks to Ken, MLR, Johnny T. Kennard, Leroy Sanders, and Gabriel Granger for your generous contribution and supporting my channel through Cash App. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. Like the life of a mother, like that's a whole job within itself. I literally think that we should receive monthly incomes for being women. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. And for those of you all who are new to my channel, remember, we don't disagree with women here. So to this young lady, you're absolutely right. Women should get compensated for life because you produce life. So to all the women out there who agree with her, you can pay all the women just for being women for the rest of their lives. And I guarantee you, none of us men will stop you. Up next, number three, reason why men are opting out of dating, unable to control their emotions. I left them. Daddy left you. That's why you I left them. Be no, for you. real, I left them. They left you. They left you. telling her that she's single because her baby daddy left her but she's trying to convince him that she left her baby daddy he didn't believe her so she got so angry she started destroying her own phone so from this display that we just witnessed did she leave her baby daddy or did he leave her when a so-called grown woman can't control her emotions to the point where she gets that violent they love you Reason number four, they act one way when we're dating them, but once we marry them. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring. We were nice until we married you and then you showed your true colors. That's right, the old bait and switch. 
does everything the man wants and desires until she gets what she wants. And then her true colors show. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring. We were nice until he married you and then you show your true colors. Up next, reason number five. We are literally scared of how some of these women think. If he wanted to, he would. If he wanted to, he would. I'm gonna give you guys the best tip to just get that little voice, that voice that's saying that out of your head. Let's address the elephant in the room here. If he wanted to, he would is incorrect. It's wrong. It doesn't exist. And I'll tell you why. Because men are scared. Men are scared to like you. You got that right. Because as soon as we start liking you, we start doing things and giving you stuff we should not be giving you. You know, like the power to be able to take half our stuff. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make him not scared. How do you make people not scared? You make them scared. So that they never have to be scared again. You're gonna write them a handwritten note and it can be in a greeting card or one of those little thank you note cards that says thank you on it. They won't know what you're thanking them for yet, but they will find out soon enough. And in the card, you're gonna put a plane ticket to Paris and you're gonna take them to Paris and you're gonna go to the top of the Eiffel Tower and you're gonna go right up to the edge and say, if you don't commit to me, I will push you off of this ledge and you will die because I hate you, but I love you so much. And I guarantee you in her mind, that made 100% sense. But to us men, not so much. Well, at least a tactic worked because I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm scared. Number six thinking they're too good for a regular date. Here are a list of places that you cannot take me on a first date in Huntsville. First and foremost, let's start with Applebee's. Enough said. Reason number seven, thinking having coffee with a man is beneath them. Um, if, Is a coffee gonna improve your life? So if a man takes you to a five-star restaurant and you have a steak dinner or a lobster dinner, how does that improve your life? Once the meal is over, you leave the establishment and it's over. Give me a break. Reason number eight, they claim they'll only date rich men. I just want you guys to know, there's no way that I'm gonna date a man that makes under 200K a year. That don't even make no sense. I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> I can struggle by myself, okay? Why would I wanna struggle with a man? So if you're not making 200K, you can't date me. You trying to date me? <laughs> I only take millionaires, baby. Like, you better get it right. <laughs> Too many times you had it wrong. Don't be in my inbox. Working where? Where you work? Hmm? That's the only question I got. Where you work? Then I could decide. Hmm. Words cannot express how I'm feeling right now after watching that video. To all the rich men out there. <laughs> 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 and for the grand finale. The number nine reason why men, especially young men, are opting out of dating. And so I'm supposed to pay for your food and the kid food. Yeah, it's what you want, baby. You want steak? Steak? Yes. Oh yeah, you going on the ground. Why? Why? Why you got your child with us though? This wasn't part of the plan. This is part of the plan. This is not part of the plan. If you want to date me? You date my child too. I'm dating your child too. Yes. Oh, you wigged out. You wigged out. That wasn't part. We supposed to eat our food. Afterwards, go back to the crib. Next, I can't live. First of all, we don't have to do it. Come on, we're going out. Yeah, we, we ain't doing this. I ain't even got the. Man, y'all tripping, bro. I thought I was finna do that. Man, y'all tripping. Trip that. Yeah, let me out. Let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here. I'm gonna hold it up for you, though. I ain't gonna do you like that. I ain't gonna do y'all like that, but you know, that wasn't part of the plan. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm with both of y'all. I don't even know you for real. See, that's why I can't be dating. I can't be dating for real. Because ain't no telling what's really going on. Yeah, you on my page. You on my page. You on my page. No. And that, gentleman is exactly what you do. When a woman brings somebody extra on a date without clearing it with you first. Especially if it's a kid. Now, I feel sorry for the kid. Because I'm pretty sure that kid thought he was about to eat. So for the lady who asked the question. So I've got a question for the men because I see it all the time in my comments. Most of my comments are filled with guys saying, we're done. We don't, we're not looking, we like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Tell me why you don't want to have a partner in life. Tell me why it's more worth it to be single than to have a partner. So there you have it. And your answer all came from women. 
And that's just the tip of the iceberg on why men are opting out of dating. Now, for those of you who stuck around, here's a bonus reason why men are opting out of dating, relationships, and marriage. Here's a word from the lead attorney, who, by the way, is a divorce lawyer. Because you guys have to remember, when you marry these women, if, you're, if you are making a million dollars a year, you are not making a million dollars a year. You're only making five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year because that other five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand, is her money. So the judge is when like, "When you marry her, exactly right, because it's half and half." Wow. So the judge is saying, "Listen, well you're bringing home a million dollars a year, but half of that is her money. So I am just making, I'm making you pay for her attorney, but really, I'm just allowing her access to her money that you are earning uh... every day." Do you hear that? It's you deep. stupid in love. <laughs> hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. Left you. I left you them. Daddy left you. That's why you baby I left them. Be left for you. real. I left them. They left you. They left you. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.